Hello and welcome back to my video. In this video I will show how you can modify XML document and save it again from a new document. If you get XML file from, from a partner and then you need to modify it before you pass it in your own system. That's one the reason you could do it. So let's start. First we need to again load inside our file. And then a root is equal to tree get root itself. In my uh, file, in my sample file, I have changed the price and I have added the product, uh, product one, two, and three as ID. It's more than you can see how it's working. We have 24, 25, and 23.99. And then go back for the modifying. And I want to say the for products in root find all product. That's the beginning. And then we need to print out print it out. Nah, we don't need that. It doesn't matter. I want to say the item is equal to the product find <coughs> sorry. Uh, find product. And then you can say item price this should be a float and it's an item get price. And then we can say if the item price is uh, higher than 25, then we need to say root remove and it should remove the product. And we want to print out the price here so we can see it and we have a problem try again here we go 24 25 print 3 and we can see if inside here remove price as brand keep the price and remove it again. This should get removed and this should be there and this should be there. So let's go to uh, to save it. It's the tree and we want to save it again and then we say output dot xml and we run it again and the output should be here c24 and 23 so it's have removing this element that's just a fun to say if you are higher than uh, 24 then you should need to remove then we should only have one document back yes and we have it here and that's how it's working that's how you modify your document and save it again Hope it's uh, useful and uh, if you have any questions please make them below, I'll try to answer them. Thank you for watching, hope you want to subscribe my channel and like this video, add it for a playlist and share with your friends. Thank you so much and see you next time and thank you for subscribing.